stuck here with all their problems and they become your problems. I'm like, what the hell are these problems? They're not even your problems. They're somebody else's problems. You know, we carry other people's problems every day. Our parents, our mothers, our fathers, our sisters and brothers. And we just carry all this stuff that's not even our own. And all this load. Other people, what other people have perceived of you, and you start perceiving of yourself, and then you know God comes in your life. Hi, my name is Sienna Thornhill. Greetings, I'm Peace Jones, and we're living in the process. We both wrote four things on a piece of paper that we thought were stopping us from all, like overall being a better person and reaching our goal in life. And those four things are more of like something that's going to stop us from doing those things. And we're going to talk about each one of them. Is that? Yeah, so basically reaching into the bag and uh, being a bag lady. Where's that bag at? Oh, it's that bag. That bag Good is right question. here. Found it. <laughs> Got it. Should we put this down? Yeah. God hates bags. Can we see that a little bit more? Just yes. there you so go. Your way. So, all right. I'm going to pick a random one here. Oh, this is a tiny piece of paper. Okay. No pressure. Oh, it's one. This says. <laughs> what does that say? Um. G and up. G and up. I want to say that's an I, right? That's an I. That's definitely an and, I. Is that an I? giving up? So giving up. Um, growing up as I'm 19 years old, so growing up, especially as a teenager, I have tried many, many different things because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with my life, and I felt like that was a, one of the biggest struggles, especially as a teenager, and just overall in life. Um, I was like, what do I want to do? So I've tried so many different things from like, from painting to Taekwondo, like just that broad. And so I was like, okay. So after a while, I was just doing so many things that I didn't know what I wanted to do. And I did give up on a lot of different things. I gave up on everything so far. I didn't really want to do painting. I really didn't want to do Taekwondo. So when I found music, and I love singing, I love performing, I love playing guitar, and all the above, I told myself, okay, this is what I want to do with my life. But there's a lot of competition out there, and it's more like, wow, am I going to give up on this too? Because there's so many other people that want to be singers, that want to be musicians, that want to be performers, and what makes them think that I'm going to be the one that's going to So just, I, I want to say just the thought of giving up really stopped me a little bit from pursuing music probably a couple years ago where I was, I loved music, but the fact that I was like, well, there's no way I'm going to make it. Um, just the thought of really, I, I am going to give up really did put a toll on my music career and holding a pause on, okay, maybe this is not what I want to do. Just the doubtness of that's even a word. The, the doubt. Okay, there you go. The <laughs> doubt of um, giving up on music, but I didn't, and I don't think anybody should give up on anything, regardless of what it is. It could be something very tiny, like it could be something that people think that it's not going to get them anywhere in life. Um, but if it's something that you love and it's something that you're willing to work at every second of the day. I think that nobody should ever give up on it no matter what anybody tells you whether they say you're not going to get far with that or you're not going to make a, make a lot of money with that sometimes it's not even about the money it's just doing it to make yourself feel happy so okay reaching in to the bed come on I used to hold back because I was afraid of letting I used to hold back because I was 
try them. I'm just scared to do all of these things. Um, but this is about being a bad baby and releasing. So I have allowed some wonderful people into my life from giving myself up <laughs> and letting people in. Um, one in large part to the person behind the camera who introduced me into some lovely people. Thursday. Did you know?